Okay, so last time, the breadbug spit up a eraser for reasons unknown. I am we'll not collecting like... it for reasons unknown. It's actually pretty helpful in this room, so I don't know why I haven't gotten it. Yeah, it's just like the, um, the Snagrit from the, like, yeah, second Yeah, I, I love how it ate the glove. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, it's the five-man yeah. knapsack. Uh, yeah, the, with the bread bugs, my strategy a lot of the time is to leave shit laying around anyway so that they can grab it, so maybe that's why I left it there, but I don't know. So I'm just trying to get rid of these, and this is probably a time that I could have fast-forwarded it because it's the final floor, I left it. So this is probably going to drag for about 15 minutes, so... What always um, angered me about um, this game, this particular game, is that... There are four elements. You can rescue your Pikmin from any element, except electricity. That's instant death. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't really make any sense that you can rescue them from the fire or the poison or whatever anyway, so... Yeah, but still, it, it's it, it, it should be like all or none. Yeah. But I guess the electricity is more instant. It's just like, zap, you're dead. With the fire, <laughs> it wouldn't immediately kill you. You would have time to, like, put it out, so... Yeah, but whistling at them puts it out somehow. That doesn't Indeed. really make much sense. It's, it's wizardry. Mag magnetic whistle. You know what's funny? Inconsistencies plus wizardry makes me think of Harry Potter and all of the inconsistencies in there. Like what? There's not that many. Well, for example, in the, like, second book, when they first take Polyjuice Potion, this is, like, my biggest one. Um, it's like... Oh yeah, they took Polyjuice Potion. Their n voices are still the same. Seventh book, they take Polyjuice Potion all the time, and they immediately gain it's, the voice of whoever they turn into. It's actually that's not that's not true actually. In the book, their voices changed. They only kept the voices for the movie. Hmm. Yeah, that's because they thought that like viewers would be confused who was who. So I don't know. I don't know, but. There definitely are inconsistencies, like the fact that Side Along Apparition didn't exist until the seventh, until the sixth book, but whatever. Oh, and don't forget about the wand lore. Wand lore wasn't really inconsistent, it just was never mentioned. And it was really confusing when it actually was, and it made Yeah, no pretty sense. much. It was... Eh, whatever, I'm not gonna get into that. Everybody's going to start, like, hating on us now because we were criticizing the Harry Potter books. I'm not criticizing them, I still love the series to death, but it, they're same, not totally same here. flawless. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying here, too. I don't know, it just it's came still, out because of the, yeah. like, topic. Because there's nothing to talk about here, I mean, look, there's a donut, there's a slice of ham, cool stuff. Which has Let's rotted. talk about Harry Potter some more. <laughs> the <laughs> ham, been, the ham. The ham hasn't deteriorated, and the donut yeah. is probably not stale. Yay for cloning potions. Yeah, I do that so often, and um, half the time I screw it up. See, what I do is I actually, like, lead Louie over to it, kind of push him over onto it, and then dismiss him on top of it. Uh, I was just going to say, I'm still reading the, the Mark Reads blog. It's going to be over pretty soon, and then I will be sad. But, uh, I s still have not commented on that. I tried to the other day because there were people arguing about the stupidity of leaving first comments, and I'm like, oh no, you didn't. First comments are awesome. But I couldn't because you need a Facebook account, and I totally refuse to get one. Uh, I have Facebook expressly for the purpose of a single app. And nobody will know what that app is unless I, for some reason, feel like feel like telling it. I love it how you got exactly one hundred dollars worth of corpses, and I'm sure this wasn't intentional in any <laughs> That's way. That's amazing. No, I didn't do that on purpose. That is really cool. A hundred box of corpse cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in Pocos, that's probably about maybe a tenth of a penny. <laughs> consider, it pay consider it a job well paid. A well-paying job. A half pence. <laughs> oh my god, it reminds me of just how, like, inconsistent the money is in this game. It's more than a hundred Pocos, it's more than a year's salary. But yeah, they've managed to get a debt of over 10,000. Really, really makes you wonder. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was just pointless reference time. 
Um, eight ladies go shopping at eight different shops at eight in the morning. Each lady wants to buy eight spiders, which are eight pence each, and for each spider, eight spider shoes must also be purchased, each costing an eighth of a pence each. If they had eight pounds between them, and... It's like, yeah, they have eight pounds between them all, and then they need to take the bus back home, which is eight pence per stop, and is like, it consists of eight stops, will they have enough money to get back? And the answer is, like, they just got arrested. Wait, was, what? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it was going on far too long, but I just love the spider shoes that cost an eighth of a pence each. What's going on in the game? Um... <laughs> I, uh, went into... Spelunking. Yay, spelunking. Citadel of Spiders, very generic cave. Yeah, um, I have a personal phobia of spiders that I just can't get over. Like, I, do I have too, no. But the ones in this game have never bugged me. Yeah, I have no problem with the ones in this game, but, like, any other game, any, like, kind of realistic ish game, they've always creeped me out. In, uh, frickin' real life, they just terrify me. That's why I hate going into our cold room, because there's always, like, the ceiling is draped with cobwebs and spider webs. I like how the tomato was a love nugget. <laughs> that makes no sense. I swear, some of the names in this game are, like, the greatest things ever. Yeah, they really just made crap up off the top of their heads. It's like you find a broken telephone, and it's like the spiritual, car like, sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, um, like, change from the last game to this game is that there is no time limit. Indeed. Ever. Although, technically, I, w I wouldn't really have a problem with this game having a 30-minute limit anyway. What do you but, mean 30-minute limit? Or, 30-day limit, I mean. Because I don't think I've ever taken longer than, like, 22, even the first time I ever played this. But I guess, I, gu I, I guess it is nice just being able to not worry about that. Yeah. Fiery Dweevil. Very... Like, all of the Dweevils are, like, very non-threatening, but, like... Except for the purple ones. Why they the purple take, ones? The purple ones have, like, twice as much HP for some reason. What I hate the most is obviously the yellow ones because of their tendency yeah. to instant death. I usually they, just punch those to death. Yeah, basically, what happens when you're dealing with Dweevils, if you don't already know, is that you fling Pikmin on them or you do damage to them. They take a certain amount of abuse before they get pissed and spew out whatever element they're attuned to all, all underneath them. I'm sure someone's going to make some kind of sexual joke out of this somehow. I don't know how they would, but yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> But, yeah, basically, the electric ones are particularly irksome to deal with. Oh, oh here's one of my favoritely named items. What's funny about this thing is that, um, the last time I played through the game, which wasn't that long ago, actually, well, it was, but I kind of, like, ditched it halfway through, I forgot that thing the first time around, um, fatally, uh, terminating my, um, hopes of a, like, eight day run or like a nine day run and that really pissed me off uh, fun story about this sub level I'm almost positive I have this cut out uh, but I revisit this floor event I, I revisit this cave to grow more uh, whites or purples or something pause and on paradoxical uh, enigma yeah paradoxical enigma anyway on that floor I come in with like one Pikmin and the cave, the cave is behind a gate, and there's like a million Wallywogs, so it took me like 20 minutes to get through it. It was amazing. 20 Wallywogs, one Pikmin, who will win? It's like what my friend was saying earlier about like, one samurai and 30 soldiers, who will win? Or something like that. I don't know. Well, we'll just have to ask the, uh creators of that one show that Spoonie hates. I don't remember what it's called. Mm. It's not Ultimate Warrior, because that's the wrestler. It's something Warrior. 
speaking of movie critics, go watch the archive of Brad Tries, and particularly the one where he tries out Bird's Nest. I love those so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's chunky! <laughs> Okay, I did not expect this thing to be chunky. Alright. Okay, let's, this would taste let's... okay without the semen. <laughs> but yeah, those are pretty awesome. I right, wouldn't let's... think they would be, but they are. Let's try and make an accurate opinion of this thing now with the knowledge that it is chunky. Because I did not expect that. Ugh, I like the edible insects. <laughs> it's like this thing tastes like my front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick a slug out of the mud in your front lawn, and it would taste ooh, and pretty ooh, similar to this. And this is relevant, because Louie eats all these bugs, and has uh, recipes for them if you collect every treasure in the game. Uh, I, is it every treasure in the game, or is it just if you collect Louie? You spoiled it. <laughs> no, they still don't know what happens. Alright, but yeah, I, I think it might just be Louie, I don't really know. Oh, snitch bug! Yeah, a snitch bug out of nowhere. I hate... It. Okay, speaking of enemies out of nowhere, most hated enemy ever. Um... Volatile Dweeble. Oh my god. Uh, Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare first time you ever play this game. Especially it's like, in the concrete maze. Yeah, because it's like you're just gonna be wandering through perfectly fine, killing all the enemies, and it's like... Suicide bomber out of nowhere. Okay, uh, video abruptly ending, apparently. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome.